Mantra. Sounds into Silence, is a documentary exploring the art, science and spirituality of chanting and, to a lesser extent, meditation. It consists of several interesting clips of various people who regularly practice and or study some form of chanting, meditation, or yogic practice. These include famous chant artists like Krishna Das, Jay Uttal, Shyamdas, and others, as well as numerous therapists, scientists, prison chaplains, and other types of people involved in therapeutic work. Viewers learn a bit about the background of these different chanters and what got them into chanting. I thought it was cool that they had Jay Uttal and Krishna Das in the film because in addition to loving their music, I have actually seen them chant before live at Yoga Now in Chicago. It was also cool to see the neuroscientist Dr. Andrew Newberg because he did a really interesting series of lectures for the teaching company in their great courses series called, The Spiritual Brain, exploring the neuroscientific reasons for various religious and spiritual experiences and how and I found it interesting, and funny, in an ironic sort of way, that, just as various Indian yogis and yoginis had brought kirtan, bhajan, yoga, and other forms of Indian spirituality to the West and had popularized it among the hippies, it appears that a new generation of Western kirtan singers and I was surprised to learn that in recent decades, as India began to westernize and industrialize, Indian spirituality began to fall out of favor in India itself and that it was, in fact, Western yogis and yoginis like Krishna Das, Bhagavan Das, Jay Uttal, etc. who actually began to make it popular in. I thought that was interesting, surprising, funny in an ironic sort of way and ironic in a funny sort of way. In some ways, one could legitimately argue that once the various yogis and yoginis began to introduce yoga, meditation, chanting, and related practices to the West and once they became popular there, Westerners, in essence, returned the favor by, essentially, reintroducing Indians to their own ANC. If I had to pick my favorite parts of the documentary, two of them would tie for the top spot. Those are the segment in which the famous American-born Kirtan singer Jay Uttal leads a Kirtan at San Quentin Prison, and the segment in which the French pianist and composer Jean-Philippe Reichiel collaborates with the Buddhist Lama, Lama Gyurm, where Mr. Reichiel played the piano and Lama Gyurm Chan. While the entire movie was great, those two segments were, by far, my favorite parts of the DVD. As a yogi myself and as someone who enjoys meditation and chanting, I found that this documentary really resonated with me, in more ways than one, lol. Especially since I actually have done many of the meditation and chanting techniques demonstrated in the film since every weekend, I attend a virtual chanting retreat over Zoom led by my friend Susan Atchison, who is an expert in various forms of spiritual healing and a disciple of the great guru. So that was kind of cool. This documentary has something for everyone. Anyone who enjoys chanting and meditation, whether they are experienced yogis or yoginis, whether they are therapists or healers who want to experiment with new techniques, whether they are spiritual seekers in the more general sense who like to dabble in various spiritual practices of various spur. I loved the movie. I'm so inspired to continue the path of yoga. Namaste. I saw this years ago at a special movie showing, heartwarming and amazing. I like how it showed me more musicians that sing and use mantras.
I am so grateful to all those who worked on this project because they created a work of art that will inspire people for many years to come. The artists featured are so brilliant and their music literally lifts my soul. I encourage everyone I know to watch this movie so that they can experience the wonderful positive power of mantra. This is an amazing movie. Best scene on the big screen, which I did. But I am very happy to own this DVD. I was interviewed for it and helped promote it on my radio show. As a movie captain, I brought it to a local town and it was well received. This is an amazing visual and auditory experience. See and hear for yourself. Mantra and the science of sound. Every word we speak creates an energy field around us. We send it out into the world and to every being we encounter. Click link in description for more reviews.